Ontario and uh, swing by, have some fun, have a drink, just chill with us. Have two drinks. <laughs> 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 All right, I see. Oh boy, I see. I see Aiden. I see Aiden rip it, rip it, rip a lop. <laughs> oh no! Rocking that rip lop tag. Shout out to my man Lop <laughs> if he's watching. Anyways, we got started here. We are in losers of 32 now, so still best of three. We're still in the best of three scenario. Now a unique stage pick right here. I normally don't see Battlefield, especially against Cloud. Maybe Aiden just feels really comfortable with the snake on Battlefield. Yeah, I could definitely see that. I mean. Um the way Cheesy plays, and again, I don't know if this is... Uh, the way he played me, I play Luigi, so I don't blame him playing this way. But he played very slow. Very slow, very methodical. I'm curious to see if he'll change up his uh, play style here. If he'll go a little bit more aggressive against Snake, because if you let Snake set up, uh, it's not going to pan out well for you. Yeah, you got to keep... A, you got to get into an aggressive mindset if you're Cheesy, and that's as aggressive as you can get. It's going for the finishing touch that early. I mean, you uh, do have a deficit to overcome right here. And in the end, he didn't get punished either, so it just worked out for Cheesy. No point trying to dawdle on it. All right, Cloud struggling to find a safe spot to land. Opting to go for the right side of the stage here. Now, I was talking to Cheesy just minutes prior to the start of Top 48, and I know he wants to start getting a little more aggressive in his gameplay because he feels like maybe a little bit too safe might not always work, especially against these higher level players where they're more prone to being... <laughs> they're not as prone to losing their patience, so... Mm -hmm. See how he's going to try to implement that right here. All right, bit of an unsafe landing there for Cheesy. He's stuck on the left flat. Can't get down. Edgar scenario here for Cheesy. Trying to break the uh, the Cypher, but unable to. Oh, smash, good punish right there. Noticing that the down air has so much end lag right there, but Snake is just too heavy, especially on a stage like Battlefield, incredibly high blast zone. Mm -hmm. All right, Again, Cheesy here's... now with limit. Oh no, no that, that was a bad air dodge. Yeah, just misjudging, I guess, uh, how far he was from the ledge and thought he could air dodge back. That's going to cost him right there. Aiden's still holding on to his first stock. And Aiden just doing everything he needs to. He's not overextending, laying down some grenades, backing down, picking his, picking his options carefully here. And now Cheesy's trying to charge up the limit right there. No tech, and Aiden's going to be all over that with the tech Ooh, shape. nice single jump. Oh, he's oh, sticky right now. Stick him. Even if that, even if that didn't take the stock, he was he had the sticky on him. He was so ready for the detonate. He was ready yeah. to detonate that, and that's a clean three stock coming from Aiden's side right there. Yeah, Aiden looked uh, very comfortable. Cheesy, uh, gonna have to do some soul searching here. All right, let's see what the counter pick is right here. Battlefield didn't work out, so Cheesy electing to go. Town and city. Yeah. See Aiden shaking his head here a little bit. I'm not sure what's going yeah, on. Yeah, I think he's just trying to consider what he wants to do on, like, what what he wants to do to adapt to what Aiden was doing. You saw just how convincingly he won that game one. Yeah. All right, we got some Animal Crossing tunes coming in. I like it. I like it. Yeah, there's the switch right there. I think I think Cheesy was just looking at his nose right there, just really considering what he wants to do right here. I don't think Lucina is a bad switch right here. Mm -hmm. He's been picking it. She's been picking up Lucina just for these kinds of matchups right here. So now we're gonna have to see him make it work. So with Lucina, we don't have a limit. However, we do have uh, some pretty good frame data as well. It's some good range. Very similar play style in terms of Cloud. That back air spacing out, Fair also spacing out. It's just an off-stage aerial game. Yes. As we've seen, uh, incredible edge guarding utility. Of course, much better recovery than Cloud as well. Able to snap and come a little bit deeper. More consistent of a recovery yes. overall. But I notice here Aiden's playing a little bit more safe right now. Playing a little bit more relaxed, camping a bit more with the grenades, trying to rack on percent, and it's working out for him right now. Yeah, I find uh, big stages like Town and City or even Pokemon Stadium to a relative degree, big stages are good for Snake. It gives them time to set up and choose little options like that. You know, get double grenade, up tilt. And it works out for him right there, that up tilt catching Cheesy on the jump, and oh, oh I don't like that. That was the Hail Mary of an upbeat if I ever saw one. I don't even know if it was strong enough. I don't think it would have been. Because Town and City does have the biggest top blast zone of any stage in the game. So yeah. you're going to be hard pressed to find a kill off the top if you're anyone. Yeah. You'd also need that specific hitbox as well with Uppy. So I'm not sure if you would have got that there either. That's correct. Again, similar situation here. You see Aiden approaching the 150s percent, and Cheesy cannot find a stock right here. 
to try to find something here. An F kill, even an F smash might be able to do it at this rate. Also can't find anything. That F tilt not going to do it, especially across the stage like that. Oh. Falling out of the dancing blade, unfortunate. Easy. Cannot find the stock, and he's at the ledge right now. I don't think he has a jump either. No. Nope. Yeah, good recovery right there, going low. I think Aiden was just trying to prep him right there. It's just a lot of rinse and repeat here for Aiden. He knows what he wants to do. And he's playing super safe as well. You can see he's not over-approaching. Up throw maybe? That'll ba do it. Barely going to take it as well. Not without 124 to his second stock, though. Got his work cut out ahead of him. But Lucina is able to rack up damage pretty quickly if she can get a good string in. Nice stop for up being through the Nikita. Down throw it's up there. Not quite the percent. Maybe too much rage to get it. Showing his hand right there. He's starting to fish for that up tilt. Lucina approaching that magic 160% though. So, got to close it out quick if you're Aiden. And that's going to do it. F tilt. Exactly as I said it. Yeah. Aiden really doing a great job of just dissecting this matchup. Oh. Yeah, but despite everything, Cheese has managed to make a comeback right here. He's at 100% on his second stock. He's managed to take Aiden to 100%. Now he's just trying to find a, he's trying to find a second stock right here. I think he's possible. Back throw is going to get him off stage. Back here, clutching it out. Yeah. And now Cheese is brandish to bring things back to an even game. are coming out. Aiden knows that he does not want to get in on Lucina. One bad string here. He's going to lose his lead right here. And nice down out of there from Aiden. Down throw up there. Good movement there as well to get out of it. There we go. This is what I was talking about. Lucina's strings are so dangerous. They rack up percent so quickly. And now that gives Cheesy the lead right here. Kita coming out. Oh. Want to get away from that ledge if you're a Cheesy right now. Good bait with the C4, Nikita. Ooh, almost got no it. punish right. Not enough time to punish right there. Up till not gonna quite do it just yet. Good DI right there, gonna manage to just live it. Ooh. Down smash right there, and Cheesy still has life, barely avoiding the C4 right there. That was clutch. Alright, both players in the last talk, last hit scenario here. Back throw, back air. Just whipping that Snake back air barely. Yep. Ooh, good parry. Oh, he has no air dodge. That's going to do it, probably. The Nikita, wow, sending him Opposite inward. Side. Yeah, that was strange. Interesting hitbox there.